So, everyone, quiet in the control room, quiet in the set, counting down from five, four, three, two, one, roll the intro. Broadcasting live at That's the University up. of one. North Texas. Tide. Go. Ready to come in on one? Now. And we're in. Thanks for joining us on NTTV News. I'm Ashley All Conroy. Right. Shift over to the OTS. Crew members Take of the, the Maersk, Alabama are finally right coming on. home today after being held hostage by pirates. The crew still hasn't seen their captain since last week after he Cameron offered Penn himself right, a as little. a hostage right on, to save you. his men. He was later freed by Navy snipers after a five-day standoff. Meanwhile, another U.S. ship off the coast of Africa was targeted by pirates, the Liberty Sun. Luckily, they got away, but the pirates that attacked them say they are targeting Americans. Crew members of the Maersk, Alabama now say piracy is becoming a real problem and the U.S. Right. needs to do Ready something just about bug. it. You mean just bug and center up? And a new technique oh. of fingerprinting might help solve cases that police just can't crack. England has created a new way to detect fingerprints on weapons and bullets, even if they've been wiped off. It works by finding the corrosion of metal caused by sweat, which takes the shape of the fingerprint. Police in North Richland Hills hope to use the new technique on the handgun that killed a woman back in 2007, but police say they are optimistic that the, that the new system will help them find her killer. But there is a catch. The technique won't work if someone has washed their hands or put on gloves before loading a, a gun. All right, ready with the And deal. the Boston Tea right. Party influenced a new type of conservative movement across the nation, speaking out against President Obama's plan to help homeowners. The movement will hold its biggest rally today on tax day. The conservatives want to protest what they are calling budget-busting bailouts gone wild. They disagree with the amount of money the White House is spending, saying they fear for the country. Many say this is the start of a new type of Republican know, right? Party, and tea parties are being organized online and even through Twitter. Gatherings across the nation right. are expected to gather to up to 400 one. to 700 people. Back on one. Ship and a new anti-addiction yes. pill anti -addiction may be available graphic. for those who suffer from cool. alcoholism. The pill is called naltrexone, and it's part of a new generation of drugs that may prevent people from going to rehab. One man from Rhode Island had tried to quit drinking many times after being an alcoholic for nearly 30 years. All attempts he had failed, but after taking this drug, he says he just doesn't have the urge anymore. Researchers say these new findings may help clarify that addiction is a brain right, disease with just and bug. not just a failure of willpower. Right, you mean just bug and set her up. Ready and this one is a story for right. the record books. Would you wear a suit made out of plastic? Well, this is just the latest fashion trend out of London. The suit is literally made out of recycled, melted down plastic that's woven into polyester fiber, fibers. The suit is actually machine washable and biodegradable, and it only costs about $80. This trend hasn't hit the United States as of yet, one. but it is a trend for those wanting to, to go, go green. green. And back on one. Well, it's a beautiful day We're outside to today, but will this nice weather last? I'll tell you if rain right. is in the forecast for the weekend. Stay roll with us. It. This is where it all begins with a community of 34,000 students what? where the individual no. finds a voice and one learns that the spark of an idea has the energy <coughs> to change the world yeah. where self-discovery leads to innovation yeah. right, and Ash, everyone can discover the power of ideas. This is the University Five, of North Texas. Four, discover three, it for yourself. Two, discover one. UNT. And we're back. Well, the weather this spring weather, just doesn't, can't seem to make up its mind. It goes from warm to cold, from warm to cold. Well, let's take a look at our current temperatures outside right now. Currently, it's about 67 degrees, and the humidity right, is about 51%, making it pretty muggy outside. Winds are coming out of the north northwest at 11 miles per hour. Let's take a look at our five-day forecast. Is, take it. Uh, our high today is 75 degrees. Tomorrow it's 72. We're looking at partly cloudy skies for the next couple of days and lows in the mid-50s. For Friday and Saturday, we are definitely going to be seeing some rain showers this weekend. A high of 67 on Friday and 79 on Saturday with lows in the lower 50s. But for Sunday, things are going to start to clear up a little bit with partly cloudy skies and a high of 79 degrees. All right, so hopefully that won't put too much of a damper in your Roll weekend. The close. Well, thanks again for joining us this afternoon. And don't forget to join us again tonight at 6 p.m. for NTTV Nightly News. And Airbox, Airbox. All right, guys, I'll stop.
That's a wrap, folks. Stop it. Cut it. <laughs>